bench press. Except this time, we don't have a bench. So this is for all you people who are working out from home and want to keep seeing gains, keep seeing changes and keep building muscle, which is most important. There is nothing that's going to stop you because even if you don't have a bench, you don't have equipment, as long as you have some weight, you can still do it. So how is it that we do the bench press on the floor? Everything is pretty much the same. If you haven't watched my previous video on the bench press on a bench, then uh, please do check that out. There might be some cues in there that are also helpful. But if not, uh, pay attention to this and this is how we do it on the ground. So of course you have dumbbells and that would be the basis of a bench press. There's my dumbbells. These are fairly light dumbbells, but um, it's more just to show you the demonstration of how it's done, right? So starting point again, we're gonna be flat on the ground. Leave my dumbbells on the side here. So we're flat on the ground, shoulders rolled back, down, chest out, exactly the same as it was before. And you want to create an arch. So engage your core and then arch your back. There you go. Create the arch over here, right? So you have your, your hips touching the ground, you have your back touching the ground from about your bra strap or your scapula and your shoulders and you have your head touching the ground. Now you're going to have your dumbbells and this is pretty much the same as before. There's a slight variation here as well. So your starting point is going to be up here. Again, they are going to be horizontal. The dumbbells are horizontal, right? When you bring them down, when you have a bench press because you have the extra range on your elbows, you would take it down further. But because you're blocked here by the ground, so you would open up a little bit. Normally, bench press would be here, but because you don't have that range on your elbows, you have the ground blocking you, so you take it out a little bit more. So you get a little more range. Right? Then push up. Push up. You push up, try to squeeze your chest together. So try to squeeze it together like this. And that is how it's done on the ground. So no excuses. You can do it on the ground. You can do it on the bench. Um, the point is that you keep doing something. In case you can't do bench press or you don't have dumbbells, do push-ups. So there's a, a pretty similar movement to the push-up. This is the bench press where you it's a push movement and you're going to be pushing your weight off you. And you have a push-up which is exactly the same thing but in reverse. So you're using most of the same muscles as long as you do the push-up correctly. I will soon be sharing a video of how to do a push-up correctly. So stay tuned for that. On the bench press, if this is your first time doing it and you're doing it on the ground, 100% use dumbbells. Dumbbells give you a little more range. With a barbell, you would be restricted and if you don't have your form correct, you can get injured or you won't be able to scale up your movement properly. So if it's your first time doing a bench press, start with dumbbells and start on a bench or on the ground. And as you progress, you can go to a barbell if you have one. If not, dumbbells are perfectly fine. Always remember when you have dumbbells with a bench, with a barbell, you will be coming straight down. But with a dumbbell, you will be going a little to the side because that's the direction that the muscles run. So you're targeting your chest muscles and your chest muscles don't run straight. So you're able to get this over here with the dumbbells. And with the barbells, you go here, but you're also using the same muscles, just in a different way. Hope that helps. Stay tuned for more tips. Please like, share and comment so other women can benefit from these exercises and tips as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.